Hello everyone and welcome to a new video of the basics of first person shooters. In this series I expect you to learn more about the basic components that define a first person shooter game, whether you are a beginner or a more advanced player. This time I bring you a short video about a non-mentioned hero of all first person shooters, the HUD. HUD stands for Heads Up Display. The term was first acknowledged on military airplanes and refers to any transparent display that presents data without requiring users to look away from their usual viewpoints. You can check the link to the wiki page on the description if you want to know more about this. HUD in first person shooter video games is any display or information that's on your screen and is not part of the world that you're merged into. This includes every text, visuals, fixed graphics, pop-ups and so on. The design of the HUD on each game is different, but they all have pretty much the same information. What changes is the positioning and how is it presented to you. Here we'll be seeing what information is displayed, the importance of this information and how can you use it for your advantage. Let's check the main elements that you will probably be seeing on your first person shooter game. First, you have the crosshair, placed in the middle of your screen. Sometimes it's fixed and sometimes it changes depending on the weapon. It can be a definite point or a big cross on your screen. Next, you have your weapons and ammo at your bottom right, your life bar total on your bottom left and your minimap on your top left corner. These elements are common for every first person shooter and it's rare to see them placed in another spot. You also have other kind of information that will depend on the game you're playing and the position of it may vary. Some games have abilities that are usually placed on the bottom center. Also, you can see some inventory information that will depend on the kind of item. Grenades are usually placed near the weapons, healing items near the life bar or life total. On some games, there is a compass placed on the top center of your screen. The information about certain quests or objectives you need to accomplish is usually placed below the minimap. Also, there are some components of the HUD that are not always on the screen but appear on certain situations, like when you're inspecting or interacting with something, when you approach a weapon, the damage indicators when you're getting shot and the pings you or your teammates make. I have mentioned most of the elements of the HUD, now I will give a short description of each one and how to use the information it provides. Arguably, the most characteristic HUD element on first-person shooter video games is the crosshair. Your crosshair is placed on the center of your screen and points where your shots will land at 100% accuracy. This means that, with an accurate weapon, the first shot you do while standing still will land exactly in the middle of your crosshair. There are multiple factors that will alter your accuracy. We will analyze those factors on the shooting video that will come up soon. There are multiple styles and designs for it. You can change the color, the shape and other attributes in most competitive first-person shooters. Some games have fixed crosshair for certain weapons and they can't be changed. Other games have sights to add on your weapon which will determine the crosshair design. There is not a secret formula for a perfect crosshair, but still, you can follow these tips when you're able to design your own one. First, make it simple. You don't want to have too much going on on your crosshair. Consider that you have to see your opponent through it. Keep it as clean as possible. Second, pick a shape. Cross, circle, square or dot are all good choices. Try some different shapes and choose one that feels comfortable. If you don't like it, you can always switch it. Third, try some colors. Use bright colors with high contrast like green, yellow, cyan or white. Avoid using colors like red, blue or black because they will merge with the background. Always consider adding an outline no matter the color you picked. That helps to separate your crosshair from everything else. Fourth, decide if you want it static or not. Some games have the possibility to expand your crosshair when your accuracy is not 100%. For example, when you're moving or the weapon you're using is not completely accurate. You can use this to help you know if your shots are going to land exactly at the center of your crosshair or you have to consider some corrections before shooting. You can switch crosshairs at any time. You can use these tips to make one of your own or copy one from another player. There are no rules here, just feel comfortable using one that you like. 
Another common element on your HUD will be your weapons and ammo, usually set at your bottom right corner, which will give you information of the weapons you're using, how much bullets you have available in the current magazine and how much you have in total. Usually grenades and utility items will be included near this section. You should know the characteristics of the weapon you're using. On most games you can have up to two weapons. The ammo information is all about time. The magazine size is a huge indicator of how much time you can keep shooting. Try this. Pick a weapon and empty its magazine. You will see how much time it takes for it to shoot every bullet. How much time it takes to reload that weapon and how many times you can reload with full ammo. When you know this timing on any weapon, you will know how to manage your ammo in the middle of a fight. The worst that could happen to you when you have someone on your side is that when you shoot, you start reloading because you didn't check how much ammo you had left. Some weapons have fast shooting bullets with short magazines and some have massive amount of bullets at the cost of speed. There are also ammo types and weapons on every game. Let's continue with the next element. Many games have a life indicator near your name at the bottom left corner. This will basically tell you how many times you can get shot before being knocked. In some games, you have shields that expand your life total. If you're low on health, you should not engage and stay undercover until you are healed. All weapons in first-person shooters have damage associated to each bullet. If you want me to make a video explaining the weapons and ammo types, you can leave a comment so I know you're interested. The next element is the minimap that comes with the HUD of almost every first-person shooter. It's usually placed at the top left corner. The potential of this tool is huge, but for now, let's stay with the basic elements. The minimap shows your current position and the position of your allies. Where are you looking? Where are your allies looking? The map buildings or structures like walls, boxes, rocks, etc. And other elements like objectives, special zones or points of interest in some cases, even your opponent's position. One of the most important elements during a fight is the damage indicator. It will show with red flashes that you are taking damage, and from where you are being attacked using an arrow or a circular indicator. This information is vital in order to know where to take cover and where is your opponent. Now we are going to see pings. Pings are a communication tool. You can usually place a ping with your middle mouse button and it's used to indicate an area or location to your teammates quickly. It's used to say, let's go that way or there's an enemy there. On some games, the ping system may be more complete, giving you the means to provide more information like in Apex Legends or Valorant, where you can tell your teammates where you are going to loot or that you are watching certain spot. Even that someone has passed through but you have no clear vision of your opponent yet. A well-placed ping can help you and your teammates win a fight, so make sure to make good use of it and not spam it without a reason. I just named the common elements of almost every first-person shooter HUD, but there are a lot more you'll be seeing depending on the game you're playing, such as skills, usable items, character abilities, compass and so on. Get to know the resources you have in-game, it is a good exercise to check on the HUD elements you use the most and the ones you don't put much attention on. You will discover new information that you can use and give you some advantage. It is your task now to identify the elements of the HUD on your game, what information it provides and how can you use it. That's all I can say of the static elements at your screen or HUD. It is a really strong tool on every first-person shooter, so you want to make good use of it. Make sure you take the time to learn the elements of your HUD so you don't get distracted from the action because you're checking your inventory or looking at your weapons or your minimap. Time is gold, my friends, and every second counts. I'm Capoa Synth, thank you for watching and have a nice day.